the GMA Health Alert on popular GLP-1 weight loss medications. A new report finds their, for, finds their potential for reducing cancer risk. And our medical correspondent, Dr. Darian Sutton, is here with the details. So break down what they found. Good morning. So we've talked a lot about the risk of obesity and the risk of cancer and the relationship with GLP-1 medications. What makes this study so important is that this is one of the widest ranges, largest scale, and long-term studies to date that shows a connection between GLP-1 medications, the class that includes the injectable weight loss options like Ozempic and Wagovi, and a reduced risk of cancer. I want to put some of these details into perspective. So this is a large study looking back nearly a decade, over 85,000 participants, all of whom were either overweight or obese, and it found that the use of GLP-1 medications was associated with a 17% reduced risk of cancer. Now, George, more notable, wow. there are certain cancers that saw larger reductions. For example, endometrial cancer or cancer of the uterus, meningioma or cancer of the brain, as well as ovarian cancer. So it's really helping us to understand how these medications play into the larger, the larger landscape of prevention. On the flip side, is there a downside? Was yeah. there an increased cancer risk anywhere? Really important question. So they looked at many different types of cancer, and there was one, ty there was one type of cancer that, showed, that saw an increase with those who used GLP medications, specifically kidney cancer. Hmm. But Rebecca, if you look more, more closely into these statistics, it wasn't statistically significant. So that means that that likely is more up to a random chance. If this study were to be duplicated, we might not see that result, huh. but a larger study might help to answer that question. Hmm. A lot of people are calling this study encouraging, but what exactly exactly is driving these results? Is it the weight loss or is it the medication? That's the big question. You know, we know that obesity is related to cancer and we know that weight loss, regardless of what intervention is chosen, can reduce certain cancer risks. And we also know that these medications are powerful, uh, mm -hmm. up to 15 to 20 percent of weight loss. We know on average uh, those who use only lifestyle interventions, only about 10 percent of weight loss. So sometimes this is more than double of that benefit. Mm -hmm. And there's also scientists that believe that there's a direct effect, reducing inflammation, improving sensitivity to hormones, probably a combination of all of these things. We'll have to continue to follow these studies to understand how exactly this is all changing up for the future. Yeah, so relatively new. Needs a little bit more time. All more right. time, more data, longer studies. Dr. Darian Sutton, thank you. Always a pleasure.